Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Ginger Plans. Today I'm using this Caress Press Goovy Goo. <laughs> I cannot talk Groovy Goals kit. I honestly cannot stand saying that word because I feel like one, I say it wrong every time, and that's probably the case. But two, it sounds like maybe because I'm around all little kids all the time, but it sounds like when a little kid can't say girls, so they say girls, like. I don't know. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section. But if you don't, then I probably just sound ridiculous. But it sounds like how little kids can't are trying to say girls. Anyways, long story long, <laughs> this is the kit I'm using. I think everyone and their mother is using this kit at some point in October. I mean, not everybody, but a lot of people for exclusive art. I feel like I've heard a lot of buzz about this and seen it in a lot of lineups. And it is super duper cute. So I am here for it. I love the groovy theme and I love the colorway. One of my favorite, favorite like Halloween arts was a C.D. Piper Designs, who is the one who did this art as well. She did an art set like years ago, and it kind of like had these pastel, like punchy pastels is what I've kind of decided to call it because they're bright, but still pastel, like neutral, not neutral. I don't know. You know what? Let me know. What do you call it? I, I'm sticking with punchy pastels. Um, but anyways, and I just loved it, and I'm not a Halloween girly, you know, controversial, but um, I remember being like, I will use that kit for those colors. So here we are, years later, and I'm like, I will use this kit for the colors, the patterns, the theme, just like the aesthetic. So yeah, I started Halloween early, because like I said, I don't normally do Halloween, and if I do Halloween, I do like one spread. This year, I think I have three. Wild. Just beyond wild. I talked about that in my October kit lineup, but I'm here for it. I'm here for the fun art, and I just feel like as you um, continue in your planning journey, career, whatever you want to call it, um, you just like try different things or you like different things. I used to be a lot stricter, and then now I'm kind of like, meh. I don't know. So... That is the stance. I'm super excited to see other people's spreads and the foil combos are infinite. So I think it's going to be really fun to see how everybody pairs it. It's not like a predictable foil. Um, speaking of foil, I decided to pair this with Lavender Haze Solid Underlays with Retro Checkered Black Overlays to like layered. Um, so I have like the layered funderlay look going. And then I'm also pairing it with the Cress Press Groovy Foil Bundle, which is in Lavender Hollow. And, um, so sorry, that yawn came out of nowhere. And, you know, what? I'm just not going to cut it out. But, um, in Lavender Hollow, which I just feel like it goes really well with the kit and the vibe. And the retro theme is just so fun. It's not Halloween, but like it just plays into the groovy and I just love it. Especially since this is so early in the season. This is literally the first full week of October. Um, but yes, I decided to color block it. I have found a way to make it work to color block a mini kit with Crest Press. It takes a lot of strategy, a lot of skill, and the funderlays definitely help because you space more things out with the funderlays. And I'm here for it. Um... Obviously, pink is not my fave color, so I put that for the one day a week, and then I'm just spicing up the sidebar here. Since I have the tall box, I really wanted another, like, there was so many cute box options with this kit, and it came with freebies, and then, of course, it came, like, you got add-on the fashion girls, which, like I said, I had to add on this tall box fashion girl, so it just made it even harder to choose, but it also worked out for me because I use, um stickers in my functional planner so I just did another mini Halloween spread so here you can see I'm starting to layer and this is why I'm like I'm super nervous why am I committing to doing an extender as my first trial of this but it worked out the plan with me stickers funder lays are super cute and like movable like they I was able to work with them for this and then um, all my fonts are from McPlans Font 1, which you can use my code GEN15 to save at, let's see, 
at Make Plans, at Plan With Me Stickers, and now Leonard Designs. I have all that linked down below per usual, but this is when I was like, holy cow, the vision. It is stunning. I love the look. So I was jazzed and pumped. And yeah, I just love trying something new. And shout out to all the foil people out there that give so much inspiration that I like would step out and do this. I would never have thought of this by myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's do a fun like Halloween this or that. Just break up because I don't even remember what happened this week. It was all bar. I remember filming this like pretty much after the week had passed, which honestly has been my normal lately. If you heard from my latest um, plan with me, the rainy day plan with me. But let's do some questions as I'm filling out the rest of the base. All right. The first question is pumpkin spice latte or salted caramel mocha. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever had a mocha. Um, that sounds kind of embarrassing for a coffee lover, but probably that because I love caramel, especially salted caramel. So I'd be definitely down for that. I don't know. Let me know if you are a mocha drinker, what is the mocha of choice that I should try for my first mocha? Maybe it needs to be this salt, salted caramel mocha, but I did try a pumpkin spice cold brew from Starbucks and it was pretty good. I'm not a huge pumpkin lover, so I figure doing something like that would just be a good introduction, but maybe I missed the mark. Maybe that wasn't a good intro. So let me know. Recommendations for that as well. I'm kind of open. I'm always down to try a new drink. So yeah. Okay, next question is pass out candy or trick or treat? Definitely pass out candy. I love, like I'm not a huge dresser upper and I always like as a child, I was such an anomaly and I never even liked trick or treating. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Um, but I would much rather like hand it out and see all the costumes and interact with the kids and whatnot. Um, also you could see my reflection in those full boxes and I look like I'm wearing a hood, but I'm definitely not. So that was kind of funny. Okay. Next question apple pie or pumpkin pie and definitely apple pie or even like apple crisp super good i'm an apple girl through and through we've kind of established that then the next question is crisp mornings or chilly nights Ooh, chilly nights i love to be cozy at home in the evenings all the things but in the morning when I first like get out of my car and or like take Sadie out and it's like super cold, it is not refreshing. It's not like, ooh, that's so fall. It's like, ugh, it's gonna be a terrible day. It's already cold. <laughs> that's my mindset. So woo, a pessimist. Um <laughs> anyways, next question. Apple picking or hayride. And I've honestly never gone on a hayride, or like maybe I did as a child. And I've never really gone apple picking, so I don't feel qualified enough to answer this question, but I don't know. Apple picking kind of sounds fun. It's like not really popular where I live, but it sounds really fun and it's something I want to do. Um, but if I had kids, then probably Hayride would be fun. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll do anything. I'll do nothing. It doesn't really matter. And then, <laughs> such a good answer. Just like when you're put on the spot. Um, then the next one is cozy scarf or cozy slippers. Slippers. I love slippers. Love, love, love me some slippers. Then the next question is corn maze or pumpkin patch. And pumpkin patch for sure. I love the low-key vibes, all the pretty pumpkins. And I like being able to see everything. Corn mazes. It's blocked. I feel like I'm going to get trapped. I don't have good direction sense. It just causes panic. And I do not like that. I don't like that feeling. I just don't like the pressure. Even if you're just walking the corn maze, it just is scary. And I don't even want to think about it. It just does not sound fun. And I have no idea how people do like haunted corn mazes. That just death. That is terrifying. So terrifying in my personal opinion. But then again, I'm a scaredy cat baby. All right, moving on to the last question. Halloween or Thanksgiving? You can probably guess my answer, Thanksgiving. Um, although neither of them are like fave holidays, I just like the family time. 
of Thanksgiving. I don't really get the family time on Halloween, so I just appreciate that. And that's pretty much it. So I'm trying to see. I feel like it's coming together so awesome. And I'm excited to show you the end of the spread to see like it all in action. But it's also fun to see the base being laid down so you can see the underlays in their full glory. Because this layering thing is just, it's real problem. And it's very cute. And yes, now I'm putting on all my boxes and I'm taking my time to think about it. Because last week with the, the rainy day one, I didn't think about it. And I, I kind of had some regrets. And then I also had some Lavender Haze foil quote boxes. So this like, let's go girls, goals, again, can't say it. Um, that box I'm just layering there. And I think I have a couple more. It was hard because the details of this kit are just so beautiful, magical, all the things that I didn't want to cover them up. But then these quote boxes were so perfect and retro and I had to include them in. So you can see I really struggled and ended up putting two on. You can see one on the sidebar and I'm going to about to put one here on Thursday. And then I end up cutting one down really small to put it at the bottom, I think, of the girl tall box on the sidebar. I believe I should have my planner in front of me but that is it I love this foil bundle I have never really used lavender hollow and I'm not a huge lavender hollow fan like I don't I'm not screaming to do it again like use it for every spread however I am digging the lavender haze like I could use that for every spread but lavender hollow I don't know it just doesn't hit me is that like a popular opinion or is that an unpopular opinion I don't know let me know because I feel like there's some shops and there's some people that are like lavender haze is life must you or uh like lavender hollow is life and I don't know maybe it's just not my not my life um but I love the foil bundle and that retro vibe it's super duper cute and I wish I could pick that up in like a bunch of different colors. It's very rare though that I pick up full foil bundles because I'm so picky about my foil. And I kind of like like different things from different shops, if that makes sense. So it's, it's pretty rare. This is where I ended up landing on this box. You can see I like took way too much time. I'm re-watching this now and I'm like just pick a dang spot Jen just literally pick a spot or just cut it out but I feel this like compulsive compulsion compulsion is that the right word to use like every sticker that I buy I'm like I paid money for this I must use it so that that is where I stand on that but in reference to this week it was a pretty chill week I was kind of feeling a little sick um and just laying low, trying to do some things that I need to do around the house and whatnot, which kind of like, I was leaving school on time pretty much all this week and it was great because I just wanted to get home and get myself better. And then I feel like it kind of kicked me in the butt the following week and now we're two weeks from this and it's still kicking me because there's just so much to do. Um, there's like so much that you have to do behind the scenes to just like do to do my job and I don't have time for it during the day because I have to be fully present with the kids and teaching the kids and 100% on for that and there's just not enough time to do all the little things to prep for those and the communication that goes behind and the like learning of the things and it's just I don't know how to simplify it to make it and then add on if you want to do something fun and the planning that that takes and then all the other meetings and trainings and whatnot it's just it's a lot so I was feeling like really good this week that I'm planning and that you're seeing but then I just am feeling it more and more and as you can tell from my rant I'm still a little burnt out but that's okay we're trying to recover regain balance I feel like balance is life balance is just a uh, spectrum scale like or what's not what's the word like a pendulum there's the word sometimes you feel it sometimes you don't most of the time you don't you're just like swinging one way or the other um but let me know I I don't know if that's a common feeling but I'm guessing it kind of is because we all are wired 
differently, but kind of the same in that way. But this week, it was kind of exciting because Plan with, no, um, Stick with Plan Co. has really cute stickers and I have never personally placed a physical order, but I've always seen them in people's planners and they're cute and I've had my eye on the shop and she came out with the digital stickers and I was like, ooh, cute and fun. Let's try it. I'm kind of in my digital printable era in my planner. So I tried it and it was definitely a little extra work because they don't come in like sticker sheets, not like a printable sticker kit where you just like download and if I want to manipulate it I can and then I just press print and cut kind of thing I it was like the individual stickers I needed to figure figure out the sizing and download each image but I was able to kind of throw some on a printable sheet that I was already printing and cutting this week so I got some samples and I really love it so eventually when I have time to sit down and do more I will um and then it's also kind of nice because I like smaller or I like character stickers that fits on little things so I don't love super big which tends to be what the physical shop sizing is so it allows me to try her shop in the sizing that I want and I also saw that Carly Plans is coming out or probably by the time you see this is definitely out with um some digital doodles and I'm super excited about that. I just appreciate people and shops that are coming out with budget friendly and are thinking of just like other types of planners. So kudos to them. Thank you to the shops that do printables. I know that's obviously not what everybody can do and wants to do and that's totally fair and fine. I love getting kits from shops as well like this kit and Chris Press and all that but I do appreciate the digital um, because then I can get more and save more money. So that's my, that's my theory. Plus I kind of enjoy it too. And it's, it's relaxing to me, but the deco, I love the sizing of Crest Press's deco. I feel like she's really mastered her sizing, giving a variety of small and big and little things to add in. So that is pretty much it. I think I'm trying to find something for that Hello October, which is, of course, McPlants. And it, these pastel pumpkins were so cute. The sizing was just not the vibe. So I went back to my seasonal album, which I believe I'm going to film a little flip through of that soon and landed on this once more with love little sticker and i think it's really adorable so that is it for the base let's skip to the end you can see all the checkered in all of its glory all right here is the finished spread let me try to catch some of this foil goodness oh i'm literally obsessed this could be one of my favorite spreads of the year, like hands down. So I did one little extender, but um, I love the foil color pairing and the checkered underlays. I feel like I just need a groovy theme for like every holiday and I just, I just love it. It's so cute. Um, this week was a pretty like lay low week. I was sick again and just kind of did boring stuff, but at least it looks really cute. I was able to print some um, stickers from whatchamacall, Stick With The Plan Co. I got some digital, I bought a digital pack, so I printed those. And then I brought in some Zombie Girls from Mick Plans. So that is it for this week. I'm cutting it a little short. I haven't filled in the rest of Sunday because I'm living it right now, but that is the finished spread. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye everyone.